Question number two. Uh, state two adaptations of the frog skin to gaseous exchange and you get two marks. Uh, so one adaptation is uh, the frog has a mucus grads on, in the skin that produces mucus which helps in uh, uh, dissolving the oxygen to be absorbed. So you can say uh, it is moist. It is moist uh, to dissolve uh, respiratory gases or oxygen. Uh, the other one is uh, it has a thin uh, uh, membrane lined. Or we have thin, it has thin or membrane uh, lined with one big cell. One big cell. Uh, one big cell which we call uh, epi epidermium uh, to reduce diffusion to reduce diffusion uh, so we have uh, it throws a uh, diffusion. Uh, the other one is it is highly uh, vascularized for faster or efficient transportation of respiratory gases. Uh, or rather, we can say it has uh, very many blood vessels. Uh, we say highly uh, highly vascularized vascularized or has uh, many blood uh, vessels uh, for faster or efficient for efficient or faster efficient uh, transportation of respiratory gases of respiratory gases uh, so those are the if you state any two of those then you should be able to get uh, two marks uh, part b explain how human nose cavity is adapted to gaseous exchange uh, so the nose acts. Uh, it has a. Uh, it has a hair. It, uh, it, can, it has hair. It has a lined uh, hair traps that help to. Uh, it helps to trap for uh, to trap particles particles uh, or foreign bodies uh, to purify air uh, so that is one adaptation or we can say uh, that help clean the air getting into the body uh, the second uh, we can say is uh, it has has mucus uh, that moist air getting in and trap dust. A part C, explain why 
the amoeba does not require an elaborate gaseous exchange system and you get two marks so amoeba has one cell uh, so the, there is a, a large surface area uh, ratio to volume so we can say uh, it is a unicellular That is, it has one cell uh, to offer a uh, large surface area area to volume ratio. Ratio. So the one cell offer. Uh, the one cell offer large surface area uh, to reach uh, that is uh, uh, that is ratio. Uh, so the other one, it has large surface area to volume. It has large surface area to volume. So this means that. Uh, the large surface area uh, facilitate the exchange of uh, gases. Uh, part D, so you should be able to get two marks. Uh, uh, or you can say uh, diffusion across itself membrane is adequate. Uh, diffusion uh, across its cell membrane. Is cell membrane. Uh, let's call it uh, cell membrane. Is adequate. Uh, part D. Uh, name the respiratory uh, disease caused by Bordetella pertussis. Uh, so the respiratory disease is known as whooping cough. whooping cough or you can call it but uh, you can also use the word pertussis so you get one mark 